So here we are, 2,499 days since that Bruins game. You traveled, you had good times, you got through bad times. You moved into apartments, you got new jobs, but most importantly, you did it all together. I've always believed that love and marriage is to be a joint effort, a bond that doesn't necessarily complete a person, but strengthens and complements each other. Deirdre, I admire your desire to always better yourself. Whether it's career growth, personal development, or fitness goal, the passion and determination you apply when you set your mind to something is inspiring. With that said, one of my favorite things about you is your ability to keep me uncomfortable. Inspiring me to grow, to break old habits, and maybe mix in a salad in a run every once in a while. But I knew right away that we had something special, and I think that you knew it too. Mitchell, I vow to love you today and every day for the rest of our lives. I promise to always celebrate this love, our love, like we celebrate it today. I promise to be forever grateful that I found you in this big world. There's not a doubt in my mind that you were made for me and I was made for you. You are my paper person. Deirdre, you're my best friend. I promise to continue to laugh with you, cry with you, grow with you, and I promise to continue to give Sophie the attention she wants at 5.30 a.m. <laughs> so you can sleep another half an hour before a run. But most importantly, I promise to support your dreams and to cherish you as an individual, a partner, and an equal. I love you and I can't wait to be by your side through all the days and nights of our lives. A year ago today, I laid in the bed at MGH waking up from my surgery. And before I could even open up my eyes, I heard the nurses talking. They were talking about my boyfriend who was pestering the receptionist, asking my status because my surgery had taken so long and you were worried. And you wanted to be there with me when I woke up. I woke up that day feeling so loved. I promise to give you that love every single day. I promise to always honor you, to cherish you, and to never stop looking at you the way I have since you were 23. When I look into your eyes, and when you hug me after a particularly long day, I always have the same thought. <laughs> I've found my home in you. Mitchell, I'm so excited for our life together. I know it's gonna be better than either of us ever could have imagined. I love you with every ounce of my being and I cannot wait to be your wife. By the power vested in me, by the state of Massachusetts, it is the honor of my lifetime to pronounce you husband and wife. Mitch, get on in there, pal. <laughs> I now present to you Mr. and Mrs. Mitchell McElman. <laughs> <laughs>